Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a Christmas gift guide and I'm really sorry that this is quite late. But yeah, mine is going up today because I was super disorganised. So I hope you guys enjoy it anyway. And if you're looking for a few gift inspiration ideas and you haven't bought any presents yet, because I know that I personally haven't bought any presents yet, then hopefully this might help you guys out. And if you're wondering about this weird top, it's like a high neck velvet top, but it's got like these cutouts at the shoulders. I don't particularly like how it has cutouts at the shoulders, but... I wanted to wear it because it was a bit festive. So the first Christmas gift idea that I better mention, I should probably do now because it's right here. This is actually quite warm now and I'm going to try and not set my hair on fire. This is a Yankee Candle votive holder. I actually bought this for myself the other day on Amazon. Um, I think it was about five or six pounds just for the holder. You do need to get like a glass thing to go in it. I'm not sure if you guys can see, there's like another one inside here. And then I bought myself a box of Christmas votives. Um, I think it, that's how you say it. They're just like the small Yankee candles. Um, and personally, like I burn candles quite a lot as soon as I have them going in the background. And I like to try out loads of different scents so I thought it would be a really cool idea to just get one of these cool little like glass containers they do them in so many different designs um, I got this on Amazon and if you just google like Yankee Candle votive holder there is literally endless possibilities I just got this one which is like white and it's got like gold and silver kind of speckly patterns on it um, and yeah that's my candle so I have one burning in there at the moment and then I also got myself um, just a box of eight different random Christmas scents ooh there's the biggest bit of fluff on that that is gross so this was actually quite cheap for eight uh, they just give you a random selection of eight different ones but it just so happens that I love all of these smells I think I have fluff on my face now so this one is Christmas Eve oh it smells gorgeous um, I then got cranberry ice, which is probably one of my favourites. I then have red apple wreath, which also smells incredible. All of these smell incredible, like seriously. Christmas cookie, which is a classic cult favourite. Sparkling snow, which is really like fresh. Snowflake cookie. To me, this smells kind of like a gingerbread cinnamon cookie with icing, and oh my god, it is so delicious. And then the final one I got is sparkling cinnamon. Oh, they all just smell so good. So if you know somebody that's into burning candles and like different smelling candles and stuff, then I would recommend getting one of those little holders and then some of these to go in it. I just think it's a really nice gift idea. The next suggestion I have is if you have a beauty loving friend, a Morphe palette. Morphe palettes are so raved about. You get 35 different colours in them. They come in so many different shades. I have this one, which is the 35C. I know that the 35O or 35O is like the most popular, um, but there's so many different varieties. They sell them on Beauty Bay and Cult Beauty. So I will link a bunch down below. Um, they're just beautiful. They're really reasonably priced. They're really reasonably priced. I think they're like 18 or 20 pounds. When I got this one, it was 15 pounds, but now they've like bumped the price up, I think, because they've got more popular, which sucks. Um, but yeah, these palettes are so good. Obviously, you get a massive range of colours and they're really, really good quality for the price. So if you have a friend that loves eyeshadow, then I would recommend one of these. The next thing that I think will make a really cool gift is actually a selfie ring light. Oh, it's buzzing. If you have a friend that's really into like taking selfies, okay, I know that sounds really, really vain, but if you have a friend that's really into like technology and like Snapchat or just taking Instagram pictures, then one of these clip-on selfie ring lights is actually so cool. Um, I showed this on my Snapchat and you guys were all asking me where it was from. This is actually a NYX one that I got from Beautycon. I don't think NYX actually sell these, but I have found so many similar ones online that just don't say NYX on them. So I will link some down down below but it has three different settings I think it's battery powered um, and it just honestly like is such good lighting if you want to take selfies and it makes your highlight look so good um, so yeah it goes really really bright and I have loved this so far so I would really recommend it. The next thing that I have to suggest is a personalised body butter. I'm sure you guys have seen these because a lot of um, YouTubers got sent them as like a Christmas present um, but you can actually buy these. It says Merry Christmas, love the body shop, comes in this little bag. I'm not sure if the original ones come in this little bag but inside you can pick the different size that you want and you can pick the scent of the body butter. Um, so I have the vanilla chai one, which I would really highly recommend. 
I haven't used it yet, but oh my god, this smells so good. And then you can pick which little animal you get on the front, and then it just says I'm wild about, and then insert name here. Obviously mine says Sophie because that is my name, duh. And I just think this would make such a cute little gift. If you know somebody that really likes um, the Body Shop body butters, um, I would really recommend them if you haven't tried them. Then you could get one of these just with a little personal touch, and I know they, that you can get them personalised in two different sizes, so I will leave the website down below where you can have a look which stores you can get these personalised at. So the next gift idea I don't actually have with me, but I did buy one the other day for Emma for her birthday. Um, Emma, if you're watching this, uh, I haven't given you your present yet, I'm really sorry and now you know what it is, but um, it's basically this thing called a shadow switch, I think that's what it's called. There is like an original one that's like £18, but I personally think that's a little bit of a rip off. Uh, I don't know, maybe that one's better quality, but I found them uh, for quite cheap on Amazon. It's basically like a little tin, I will put a picture of it here and it's got a kind of like spongy thing in it and you swirl your brushes in it in between colors and it just kind of knocks off ow I just pulled some of my hairs out and it basically just cleans your brushes without having to wash them obviously it doesn't like clean them with all the bacteria but if you're doing an eyeshadow look and you're using like a few different colors and you don't want to have to keep like switching brushes or like you don't want to have to swirl it on your pajama bottoms which is what I normally do then this color switch thing is literally like amazing I put one on my Christmas list I bought one for Emma and I just think it's such a good idea. Speaking of eyeshadows, the next present recommendation is actually getting like a small Z palette or like the smallest Z palette I think you can get contains three eyeshadows. Um, there's then the actual small one which contains nine and what a Z palette is, this isn't actually a Z palette, this is like a makeup geek kind of version, um, but the Z palette is exactly the same. It's a magnetic palette and it contains um, nine different eyeshadows that you can choose to put in it. Um, so you could get this for some and just get them like two or three different eyeshadows or I don't know if you wanted to go all out you could get them nine different Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Um, Makeup Geek eyeshadows are such good quality they range from I think five pounds each to ten pounds each the foiled ones are a little bit more expensive um, but if you have an eyeshadow loving friend and you really want to treat them then I would really recommend getting some Makeup Geek eyeshadows and a Z palette. Those are my nine favorite Makeup Geek eyeshadows so I will link them down below if anyone is interested but if you are on more more of a budget then Freedom actually has an equivalent they have their own range of magnetic kind of eyeshadows it comes in this palette like this which has a big mirror and then all of these are by Freedom and I think they are two or three pounds each the different eyeshadows so they're more affordable than the Makeup Geek ones so if you are on more of a budget but you still like the idea of a customizable palette then I would really recommend the Freedom customizable palettes and you can get these on the Superdrug website or on the Tam Beauty website again they will be linked down below and then and same goes if you don't want to get eyeshadows but you want to get kind of contour pans, highlights or blushes. Freedom also do those um, and I love these so much. I'm probably going to feature them in a tutorial soon. The contour pan in 03 is literally all I wear for contour. It's what I'm wearing today. Um, and you guys have been asking me what contour colour I've been using because this is so pale, it is the best contour colour I've ever tried for pale skin. Um, you don't need to like go sparingly with it because it is just pale, it's not going to look muddy on you. I am obsessed with this and I'm going to actually buy a backup because I'm already starting to get through this pretty quickly. And then if you want something a little bit more intense to contour then number 4 is also a really really good colour, I love this one too. And then they also have, um, oh, I keep digging my nails in them. They obviously have them for like darker skin tones as well. Um, and they do blushes as well. And they also do highlights. This highlight here in 03 is so stunning. Like, it's just beautiful. The other ones that you see in here, this one, this one, and this one are actually Makeup Geek ones. But honestly, I prefer the Freedom ones, and they're a lot cheaper, so yeah. So the next gift idea, I know this is a little bit random, but I thought it was really cool. This is a unicorn light. I got this from Beautycon, but I've actually already got one myself. Um, so this one here is purple. It's by a brand called Smoko, and um, I've seen these by other brands as well. This is literally just a cute little purple unicorn light. Um, but I'll just show you the one that I have. I have the white one already. And it just lights up like this. Um, I really actually use this all the time. I've just had to replace the batteries because it um, died. Because <laughs> I accidentally left it on for like two weeks and I didn't even notice because I'm an idiot. Um, but I just have this next to my bed and I like to turn the lights off when I'm sleeping. But if I want to just have like a small light on to like look for something and I don't want to get out of bed and turn the light on. 
or just to have like a little night light. I really, really like this and I actually use it all the time and it's really bright actually when you replace the batteries. So I would really recommend this as a gift idea. I don't know. I just think it comes in really handy. The next gift idea is a pair of Christmas pajamas and these ones are my ones that I got recently from Primark. They are just tartan and uh, Primark should be still selling these, I think. Um, it's just got a matching top and bottom. I just think these are so Christmassy. I'm probably going to be wearing these on Christmas Eve and like waking up on Christmas wearing these. Oh my god, I'm getting so excited now. Um, but these are only eight pounds. Like how amazing. Um, I'll try and link some other like festive pajamas down below from like ASOS and stuff. I'm pretty sure do them um, and Boohoo. But I just think a pair of pajamas you can never really go wrong because everybody loves a good pair of pajamas. Unless you sleep naked, then you probably won't want pajamas. But you guys will know your friends and family, like, whether or not they wear pajamas. This conversation has got really weird. The next gift idea is actually a portable little speaker. This one I know is from eBay. My dad got these for me and my brother, I think, like, two Christmases ago. Um, so this is just a Bluetooth speaker that you can connect to your phone. So if you want to play music, but you don't want, like, a massive bulky speaker, and also if you want to, like, travel with it or something, I don't know, you're going to a friend's house or if you're going on holiday, um, then I just think this is a really cute little idea. It's very small, very compact. Maybe a stocking stuffer or maybe like a main present for somebody depending on your budget. Um, so yeah, quite a cool little thing. Don't really know where I'm going with this. Nice. The next Christmas gift idea is a really obvious one, but just like some Christmas makeup sets. Um, pretty much every brand I'm sure has some sort of Christmas makeup set. Um, I have two here. This one is from Soap and Glory. It's called the Glamorama. This is one of my favourites. Um, it comes with an eyeliner, a mascara, a lip gloss, um, the solar power um, kind of highlighter, blush thing, three eyeshadows, a blush brush and an eyeshadow brush. Um, and I think, oh, I can't remember how much this is. I think it might be like 15 or 20 pounds or something. Then this one here is by Benefit. Um, you guys will have seen this in my testing Christmas makeup sets video. This is called Girlorama. That's funny, that Soap and Glory one is called Glamorama. This is called Girlorama. It comes in like a really funny tin. Um, so again, if you wanna try some Benefit makeup or you know somebody that wants to try it, it comes with a professional, uh, a weird eyeshadow thing, a miniature roller lash, a Benetint, a brush, and the Coralista and Rocketeur blush. Speaking of gift sets, I just thought I'd have to mention this one, but it is so heavy. This is a Soap and Glory suitcase. Everything's moving around inside it. It's called The Whole Glam Lot. This is going to be available to buy on Boots from the 9th of December. I'm not sure what the date is when I'm uploading this video, but it's reduced currently from £60 to £30. And for £30, this is a amazing deal. I'm just going to show you guys what's in here. So it comes with all of this stuff. You get a full size Smoothie Start body milk, a full size Sugar Crush body wash, a full size Vitamin C face wash, which I absolutely love. I've used this a couple of times already and I really like it. It makes your skin so like glowy. A full size The Scrub of Your Life, a full size hand food. I don't know why I'm saying full size in front of everything because it's pretty much all full size. Uh, this is the hand cream. This would last me about 20 years. Um, the full size Righteous Butter, which is a cold classic. The Speed Plump All Day Moisturiser. I actually am wearing this today. I love this moisturiser. I already have one and it's just great. It's really, really nice and it smells like oranges. You get a handmade hand sanitizer, which I always carry around with me in my bag because it smells amazing and it disinfects your hands. You get a thick and fast mascara and then finally you get a miniature sexy mother pucker lip gloss. So... All of this stuff, £30, I think is a cracking deal. Another just classic easy gift idea is just to get somebody a voucher, like a super jug or boots voucher if somebody's into makeup, I think that would be an amazing gift. I have a super jug or boots voucher on my Christmas list, so hopefully I'll get one of those and I can go and buy even more makeup. The final gift idea that I have on here is actually these uh, palettes by Freedom. I know a lot of you guys get sick of me talking about Freedom, but I think these are amazing and I think they would make a great gift. So my favourite one from the bunch, which I've showed before and you guys went a bit crazy for, is the Pro Artist Pad Backstage Palette. This is £15, it has a mirror, and it comes with all of these colours. I think this would be great for every skin tone. It has five highlights, five contour colours, five shimmery blushes, and five matte blushes. So if you know somebody that's into, like, face stuff... Mm. 
that didn't quite sound right. If you know somebody that's into like, you know, highlight, contour, blush, this would make such a nice gift. It's only £15, which I think is amazing. The highlights in this are insane, like amazing. They also have a couple of others which have hideous packaging. I'm really sorry if that offends people, but I'm not a fan of the packaging. Uh, the red one's okay, but this fluorescent pink one is not my fave. This one is just got has just got like eyeshadows and then it's got like a highlight, a blush, and then bronzer and contour stuff. This one's called the Studio To Go palette. And then the final one that I have to show you has got a leopard print design. Um, and this one just has a load of amazing eyeshadows. Um, and this is the Extreme Vice one. So yeah, I just think they would make a really nice gift idea. If somebody's into makeup and they want to try a load of different colours or something, then go for it. The final thing that I just want to talk about, because I know that I'll probably get questions, is um, the lipstick that I'm wearing now. Um, so the suggestions that I have for Christmas kind of lipsticks is the Jeffree Star Holiday Collection. I did make a full video on this, which you guys would have seen. On my lips today, I'm wearing Designer Blood, which is probably one of my favourites, probably one of the most festive, but um, my two other favourites are actually deceased. Then my second favourite, which is super festive, is Crocodile Tears. This is a green colour, so if you know somebody that's like really out there and would wear this then I'm sure they would absolutely love it. Personally they are my favourite liquid lipstick formula that I own so yeah. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up let me know if you have any gift suggestions in the comments down below. Also if you aren't subscribed to my vlog channel it is just Soph Does Vlogs. I'm posting more vlogs throughout December and if you aren't subscribed to this channel then I would love it if you would subscribe YouTube is like all over the place at the moment like everyone's subscribers are just dropping, their views are dropping um, so if you do want to be notified of my video I would love it if you could turn on my notifications so that you get notified every time I upload that would be great So I hope you are all having a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye